Let's try removing the door. So I have the door selected. I know I have some extra polys here. We'll, we'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, let's detach that. Now I'm going to select that uh, new object we just created. Um, again, I'm going to go into isolate again. So I'm going to keep isolating until I get exactly what I want. Again, you see that's one piece of geometry. That's the reason that uh, I can't select just the side pieces. It looks like I, when I made the model, I used the one plane to span the, the sides as well as the door. Uh, that's easy enough to fix though. We'll look at that in just a second. I want to make sure I grab just the door and not the frame. So I want to select uh, all of the uh, door frame. I'm also going to turn on um, edged bases here so I can see exactly what's going on. Right, so that's one piece of geometry. Let's do... Now I could use a slice plane here, but that's going to slice my geometry all the way up. And I don't really need that because it's only this bottom piece that uh, needs to be cut. And that piece is already separate, so that's not a problem. But So instead of um, using a slice plane, which will slice it all the way up to the top, which I don't need, I really want to control the slice happening just to this um, this bottom rectangle plane. I'm going to use a, a cut, a quick slice I should say. So I'm just going to cut it just within inside the border of the door. I don't want to go outside the door because otherwise it's going to leave a, a gap. So just inside that, uh, inside the, the border of the door. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now let's have a look. See, now I can select just that part of the plane and delete it. The same on this side. It looks like we may have a piece at the bottom, but I think it's on the back. Going to our perspective viewport here and have a bit of a look. Okay, that's a, a piece that runs along the bottom there. I'm going to delete, delete that piece as well. Now, let's see, this door. I'm just gonna find the frame, because I don't want the actual frame. I, I'm really only looking for the door itself. So. I'm gonna turn off edge faces so I can get a better look at my model. We're getting the same problem again. So uh, here I am actually going to probably use a um, a slice plane. And that will allow me to move it into exactly the position I want. So we're going to move it into a roundabout there. 
I'm going to go slice. Now I can move that slice plane over to this side. I'm going to need it to be about there. I'm going to slice it again. Uh, and I'm also now going to rotate my slice plane. I actually should be doing this in the... Um, not in the orthographic, but in the... Um, Make, making sure that I'm in the, the right viewport here. I'm just going to undo that quickly because I wasn't in the right viewport, so. Now we're in the left-hand viewport. I'm just going to turn off my slice plane for a moment. Just going to have a look here at what my slice plane is doing. You see my, my slice plane is actually uh, angled slightly. I don't want that. I want to make sure it's um, at the correct angle. Have a look at it here in our back viewport. That's fine. Let's have a look at it here in our side viewport. If it's slightly off, it's not going to make a difference. It doesn't have to be exact. But I may just rotate it just a little bit. bit better. All right, let's do that again. So we find the edge of our door, which is uh, here. I'm going to go just uh, outside. The actual edge of the door is probably about there. Um, but I'm going to go a little bit further out, be on the safe side, and go to about there. And now we'll slice it. Move it over and do the same thing on this side. Just go a little beyond the edge where it should actually be sliced. Just to give us a little bit more wriggle room. Now let's have a look here. Again, it looks like we have another another plane sitting behind the door here. All right, if it doesn't like that, we'll do it the other way. Again, we're going to jump into a quick slice, and I'm going to slice it from the top to the bottom. of my door which is about here I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to do a um, a quick slice and we're just going to select that top piece and um, and delete it why did that not do it Be 
Yeah. Okay, let's delete that. Um, I may actually just slice off a bit more here on this edge. Looks like I grabbed a bit too much. jump back into our perspective viewport here and I just want to have a look at this. Again, you see the back of our door has no polygons. That's uh, not good. We're going to have to put polys there. We've also got to check the thickness of the door. And that's probably a bit thin for a door anyway. So I think what I'll do is I've, I've got my door selected. I think the handle is still part of the door. Let's just remove those pieces there. And that piece there. Uh, when I say remove, I'm just going to detach them. I'm just going to call this handles. Uh, that leaves just the door itself. Let me jump into my top viewport here. I'm going to hold down the, um, looks like my axis is off as well, so I'm just going to affect axis and center it to the object. I hold down the shift key and make a copy. I want to mirror that copy. Rotate it just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to have to change the texture on the inside here so that those handles are, aren't there because they're for the outside of the door. It's given our door a little bit more, um, it's, it's given us the polygons on the back of the door, which we're going to need. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is do an attach between those two pieces. So select the front uh, and do an attach. Now it's one object. We're going to have to do uh, some UV fixes on this in the um, UV editor. So before we do that, though, let's um, go and do uh, edge selection here. deselect that bottom edge though. So again I just hold down the alt key to do that in max. So my two edges on either side of the door selected. Um, I'm just going to do a bridge and you see that our UVs are completely messed up that's fine we just want to put a polygon in there. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side here.
Again, make sure you deselect that uh, bottom piece though. Do another bridge. Let's do the top one now. Okay, now I'm just going to see what it's doing here. Okay. There's a piece, and I, I selected the wrong piece initially, so I'm going to um, deselect the middle one. Then I'm going to do a bridge. And the bottom of the door. The bottom of the door is already bridged. I, was, I thought that would happen. I was going to say, you're probably tempted to remove the uh, inner, inner plane, but don't do that because it's actually used for the back of the door here in this instance. So I do want to tidy it up a bit though. So what I'm going to do is um, just grab the vert and pull them up. Keep it nice and tidy. Okay, so let's uh, fix up these side pieces on our door. Let's start with this one over here. So I'm just going to start by selecting those uh, side pieces here for the door. I'm going to do it bit by bit. So I have that selected. In Max, I'm going to do a, an unwrap UVW and open my UV editor. Palindrome Dev, nice to see you. Thank you for popping into chat. Uh, anyone that's wondering what we're working on, we're doing an Art Deco building interior and exterior that we're going to be taking into uh, Unreal Engine 4 to. Um, yeah, that we're going to be rebuilding in the Unreal Engine. And I'm just fixing up this door here because I didn't like the original. Um, all right, let's rotate that around. Again, I'm going to put angle snap on here. Move this up. I'm also going to scale it down just, just a little bit. Now I'm going to collapse my stack. And that just uh, textures up those side pieces. It'll texture them up easily that way. We don't have to worry about repainting them in Mario or anything like that. Can't stop. You need to sleep. But uh, Galen was hosting you. Oh, no, no problem. Well, thank you for popping in and saying hello. I do appreciate that. Um, I'm on every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, so maybe I'll see you again sometime. We're going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to select those. Um, side pieces if I can here. Okay, and again we're going to throw an unwrap UVW on. Uh, again, open the UV editor. Make sure you're on your um, texture layer so it's easy to see. I'm going to do a flatten mapping again. Mm, it looks like I may have grabbed um, a piece that I didn't want. Let me have a look here. I 
did. I grabbed one of the back edges here. I thought there was something a bit odd going on. So let's um, fix that up. <laughs> Getting a bit confusing for me. I'm just going to remove my UBW there. And we're going to be a bit more careful this time when I do my selection. I really should have rotated the model before I jumped into the UVW to make sure I hadn't grabbed something I didn't want. That looks good now. All right. It looks like we may have forgotten. Um, uh, I see what's going on here. We didn't do a bridge between those two pieces. That's the problem there. This one's okay. So just before we do the texturing on that, let's um, let's bridge those two pieces together. So we want uh, that one and that one. Uh, again, we're going to do a loop, and I'm going to deselect now the um, the ones at the back here. We don't want those. We don't want the bottom pieces either, because we're we're doing a bridge. So you know, a bridge works between two um, two sections of the model, not three. Let's uh, do a bridge. Why are you not bridging? Just checking, it won't let me bridge for some reason and that generally means that there's, an air, uh, there's something I've either not forgotten to select or is not right. Uh, just in, no, no, that's fine. It seems like it's hard to see what you're selecting with that tech. Yeah, it is. It is hard. This texture is quite dark. Okay, it looks like I grabbed the wrong edge. Uh, the wrong second edge here. That's why it's not letting me do a bridge. So... Let's fix that up. Deselect, uh, deselect it all. And now because there's no polys there, it can be hard to select the right edge. You've just got to play with your viewport until you get the right one, so. Deselect. Now that should, no, again it's the wrong edge, so. That should be good. Let's do a, a loop here. Deselect those. The other thing I could do is, is delete that polygon, that the, the edge that we put through there and, and do it again, but um, we'll try doing it this way first. Okay, those edges look right. And we're selected up to the top. Let's try doing a, um, a bridge again. No, it still won't let me do it. All right. All right, let's do it another way. Select this edge. Do a loop and remove these pieces here. Let's do a loop.
Let me see if I can throw a modifier on this. Let's fix the uh, UV on the top here. I'll take all that side in just a second. Um, actually, before I tackle any of this, I'm just going to take a, a quick break, guys. I want to uh, grab a fresh cup of coffee. Um, we'll be back in just a few minutes. I'll leave you with some epic music on my B-Road back screen. Um, yeah, I'll be back in just, just a couple of minutes, guys. I'll grab a fresh cup of coffee and <laughs> then we'll tackle the rest of this door here. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, let's tackle this texture at the top and then we'll tackle that uh, poly at the side of that door that's giving me all these issues. Let's fix the texture up here. Again, this is the top of the door which is probably not going to be seen but we'll fix it up anyway. I'm going to throw an unwrap UVW on. Open my UV editor. Make sure I'm in my door texture and uh, I'm going to do a flatten mapping. <laughs> I always forget it opens a dialog box. Okay. I'm going to scale it back a little bit. I'm also going to scale it down in just the uh, X. I'm going to move it up. I'll turn off my uh, angled snap rotation so I can get this angle a little bit better. I scan in one direction in Max by holding down the shift key. Just for anyone using Max that might be wondering how that happens. I'm just going to move that up there. Collapse my stack. Okay. We have the side, the top. Let's see what's going on here now. I think what I may do here is um, actually remove these polys that I created with the first um, bridge. Because it looks like I didn't bridge it correctly to begin with. That's the reason we're having all these problems. Now, I, I, as you said, Sniper Echo, it can be hard to select things with uh, the texture and I could go into wireframe mode to actually um, get rid of the texture and make it easier for me to, to see what's going on. We, will, we won't just for the moment, we'll try and soldier on with what we're doing here. But we may have to go into wireframe mode. Select these. Make sure I don't have anything selected that uh, I don't want to remove. That looks okay. Let's just delete those polys. Let's try again here. Okay, that's the right edge, okay. See, that's what I did wrong last time. I selected the inner edge and I shouldn't have. I should select this outer one. Deselect the inner one. Now we'll try doing a loop. Again, deselect the top and the bottom. Let's try doing a, um, a bridge again. That's better. 
Right, now we're going to select those uh, polygons. And throw an unwrap UVW on. It's really helpful with the unwrap in, in Max. I, I, hopefully it's like this in Maya where you can select individual uh, polygons to map just those polys without affecting the rest of the model. I, when I model I tend to do that quite a bit. That way it doesn't mess up the rest of my UVs but I can fix any little errors like that. I'm going to scale that back just a little bit. And that fixes our UVs on the side of the uh, door. So, let's just run around our door here to make sure everything looks right. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave the UVs at the bottom. I could UV that as well. Maybe we will. Considering we're here, why not? Uh, it's at the bottom of the door though, so you're never really going to see it, even when you're in-game. In but hey, we're here, we may as well do it. So again, I'm just going to open my UV editor and um, do a flatten mapping on those UVs. I like to pull up my texture so I can see where I'm putting my UVs. Then I'm just going to scale it down. You can see the only part of the texture we're really using now is this uh, in our door piece. So what I'm probably, if I decide to keep this door and not swap it for the other door, I'll, I'll do a rendered texture and I'll, I'll re-render that texture out because we're wasting texture space by having these uh, side pieces in if we're not going to use them. And uh, an easy way for me to fix that without having to completely re-UV map the model is to, um, or redo the texture, is to render to texture, which is probably what I'll end up doing. I'm just going to scale those in. Again, hold the shift key and I'm going to scale them up in the uh, X. And again, I'm just going to collapse my stack. And now we have that texture fixed up at the bottom. Uh, we're going to be placing our stained glass in the middle here, so that's fine. Um, again, these really hard edges on this door, you can probably see it there if I angle it correctly. That's really not good and I really want to fix that up. But before I do that, before I put more work into actually um, chamfering those edges, I'm going to make sure that this door will look right for what I want. So I'm going to end isolation mode. Again, I'm going to select that door and this piece of geometry here and go back into isolation mode. Uh, this is a grouped door, so I'm just going to ungroup it. I'm going to remove our... Oh, I won't delete it, I'll move it out of the way. Again, now I'm going to change my pivot position because it's uh, moved. Now the colours are going to be wrong, but I'm more interested in what the actual door looks like with these side pieces, so... So don't pay attention to the colour difference, we'll fix that up. Let me just move that one out of the way here so I can see what I'm doing. You see the original door was actually um, bigger than this one, so just before I start altering my scale on this, I want to um, again exit isolation mode, grab our stained glass and our doors, 
back into isolation mode. Let's detach the stained glass from the other two pieces. We've got new stained glass door. Let's move that uh, into position. Again, I'm going to go into my hierarchy and make sure that my pivot is at the center of it. Just makes it easier for me to move it around. Move it down, move it over. Now, the reason I want to put it into position before I do any scaling is because I want to scale them both at the same time. At the moment they're scaled correctly so that they fit together. If I scale one without having the other one in place, it's going to um, it's going to make more work for me. So making sure they're both together before I do any scaling will just make my life easier. Now we've got to check that it's actually lined into the door here. Okay. Now we can select them both. I'm just going to group them. Again, makes my life easier for scaling. Uh, I could have, again, I don't want to attach them because I want to keep that as a separate piece of geometry when I take it into Unreal. Now let's um, scale this up a bit. Uh, I don't want to scale it too much. I don't want to make it look like the door has been squashed. So... So I have to be careful. I'm also going to make sure the door stays within the frame. So it's a bit too tall now. I've got to bring it back a bit. I think our door might be slightly rotated, so let me just fix that as well. Uh, yeah, again, I don't want to... Um, squash the door too much, it's going to look weird. So instead of me making the door smaller and making making the door fit the frame, I'm going to make the frame fit the door. I just want to make sure that the height is correct. It looks like it still might be a bit too tall. So. 